Hello YouTube! Today I'm going to take you guys through a shoulder and tricep workout. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing for my pre-workout really quick. Um, I already ate all my carbs this morning, so today for carbs I've had oatmeal twice. Um, I had that for my very first meal with breakfast, and then I also had it for my second meal. So I always get my carbs done really early in the day. I don't really eat carbs in the evening. I am working out a little later than I normally would today um, because of my schedule, but I just wanted to show you what I'm gonna eat. Since I don't have any carbs, I am gonna eat some broccoli, uh, shiitake mushrooms, and this is some tilapia that has dill on top, so it looks like so. Nice and yummy, so I'm about to eat that. And then I will meet you guys at the gym. Okay, so I just got done doing my warm up. I did eight minutes on the treadmill. Uh, the increment is three percent, and the speed was three point six percent, or three point six miles per hour. So you want to get nice and warm before you work up. Work out so that your muscles are nice and warm, ready to go, and then that way you don't get injured. So that was my warm up, and now I'm gonna head into the workout. So quick tip during your workout is that you want to make sure you're thinking about contracting the muscle. So every time I'm extending on the tricep extension, I'm really thinking about squeezing the tricep muscle and really making that mind to muscle connection and that will make your workout even better. For this next tricep exercise, I want to show you what I do with the rope. I literally take it and I tie it in a knot. So I'll show you. So I tie it like this, and then I just hook it on to the cable like so. And when in the exercise, I'm going to be holding on like this. So here's a close-up of what that will look like.
So I know this one looks a little weird, but what it's doing is it's working that lower portion, like right here, your tricep. So you really just have to think about that mind-muscle connection again with this one especially, because it is a lighter weight I'm using, um, but you just rep it out and it will burn probably after the second set. So during your workouts, not everything is going to go perfect. For example, I just smacked myself in the face with the bar when I was doing uh, skull crushers. Obviously, I hit my head. <laughs> not necessarily the most ideal thing, but that doesn't mean I'm going to cry about it and stop my workout. I'm going to laugh at myself and keep going because that is what matters. So I just finished my lift. I did six exercises, three for shoulders, three for triceps. Now I'm going to do cardio. I'm doing 36 minutes on the treadmill at a 6% incline and 3.6 miles per hour. So I will see you guys when I'm done. Uh, I ain't tripping if you saw me. Hey, you playing games like a tar fray. Woo, bring it back, I think you lost me. Uh, she throw it back and get a wallet. Hey, I'm on track like a trolley. Uh, I'm only living, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm only living, I'm so sorry. Woo, I will pay you out to the function. And you get all get into loving, uh And you been sipping on that something, uh So you be all up in your feelings But I'm chillin', it's a given, see you goin' at the boy Or maybe I'm just trippin', just a little paranoid Maybe I've been flippin', this is far from unemployed I know I talk my shit and you a little bit annoyed But I gotta keep you near me, you a gift from the Lord all right guys so that sums up the workout today um i am very sweaty after my cardio and stretching session um so i wanted to show you guys what i do post workout so here i have my shaker cup with about um i put eight ounces because i like mine to be a little diluted um the container does say six ounces so here i've got my formula one protein this one is cinnamon toast crunch flavor this is my favorite one i really love fruit de loop that's probably my second favorite but i'm a huge cinnamon toast crunch fan and i haven't been able to have it in years because of my gluten issue so super excited that they have this flavor because it is amazing so what i'm going to do here is one scoop of the formula one protein like so and then i also have my ignition and this is a post-workout carb source to refuel your glycogen storage i am going to use a half scoop of the ignition and i'm also going to mix that right into my protein so formula one plus ignition is the post-workout formula. So there you have it. Thanks for watching my YouTube video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!